Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Lenovo IdeaPad 3. The exact model is an IdeaPad 3 15 IIL05. The model name is an 81WE. That information can be found inside the BIOS or on the bottom sticker on the laptop. In this video, I'm going to take you on a step by step how you can speed up the process and you know, how you can get the best of your CPU. This model is being shipped out with a mechanical hard drive, and the mechanical hard drives are really, really slow. And I highly recommend you guys to open it up, add a solid state storage in there, and put your Windows in a new storage SSD. And I'll show you the combination and what you can have in there. Now, as we know that SSDs are really fast, you can have an SSD and you can still have your mechanical drive in here, they're both combinations. And I highly recommend you guys to install your Windows on the SSD. I made a short video how to install your Windows on, on your Lenovo laptop. Follow those inform steps so you don't get all those broad words installed on your Windows. Also, I made another video how to create your Windows 10 or 11 USB boot drive. You just have to put 11 instead of 10. That's the same. In this video, I'm just going to show you the variety and how to remove them, how to replace them, and what are the capacities. All right, with all this set, let's go ahead and let's get it started. First thing first, you want to power up the laptop, back up your files in case you want to back it up to external storage. And we're going to flip it upside down. Down here, we're going to grab ourselves a screwdriver set. I'll be using an iFixit screwdriver set. From this tool set, we're going to be using a Phillips number one. If you get the Pro set, they will include you with an opening tools and some tweezers. If not, grab yourself a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are suitable to opening cases and covers. All the screws are in here, they're not the same. The front row screw on the front of the laptop, these are the short screws. You want to keep them in one pile. And the rest of the screws, they are, again, those are the long screws. Keep them in a separate pile. You don't want to mismatch them. All right, we remove this one, and we're going to remove the rest, including the middles. Also, if you guys like my video, if you find my video helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. Appreciate that. All right, now that we remove the screws, what you want to do here, grab the opening tool, and you want to put the opening tool in this case, the guitar pick between the palm rest and the bottom cover, just like that. And what you want to do, you just want to twist it, and you want to open it up like that. You want to hear those big click sound, that's what you want to hear. Work yourself around on the side towards the back corner, left and right side. There, go to the back corner, and that's it. Once you did the back corners and the side and the front, all you need to do is to grab it up from the front, wiggle it around and lift it up and it will crack and open up the back clips. Don't worry about if you break some clay, tiny clay, that's normal. After a few years, the, the plastic does get dried up and the clips do get break up, don't panic. Those are not necessary. The whole work is being done by the screws to keep this cover in place. The uh, clips are there just for the factory line so they can put it on until it goes to the next station for the screwing. All right, and down here we can see the mechanical drive right, and right over here. This is a Toshiba one terabyte. And we can see that there's an M.2 slot available right in here. You can put an up to two terabyte NVMe drive in here, which is much, much faster than uh, M.2 SATA. So you can grab your M.2 NVMe. I recommend you guys to grab an uh, Samsung 980 Pro up to two terabyte. Make sure the notch on the NVMe matches the notch right on the dim. And you want to bring it down in 45 degree angle inside the connector, push it in there, make sure all the pins are in. And it should stay up like this in a 45 degree angle. And then what you want to do, you just want to push it down. And once it comes down to the, matches the screw hole right there, and you want to put an M.2 screw right in there. They don't provide you with an M.2 screw. But what I can do, if you don't want to purchase yours, you can remove this screw from here. No, that is screw, it is very long. It should be like half the size of this one. It's like a 2.5 millimeter, that's a long one. So yeah, you cannot put it there, otherwise it's gonna go through the keyboard. I'll leave the link for M.2 screws. You can purchase yours and just screw this one right in there and put your windows in here. 
and you can format your one terabyte and keep it as a secondary storage. To remove it, slide it out. Now, to remove this mechanical drive, all you need to do is to remove these two screws in the front side of it and two screws on the side back. One right by the speaker and one right over here. Now, again, here you can put up to two terabyte mechanical drive low profile or you can put a four terabyte solid state drive SATA. You want to lift it up, bring it up slowly, gently. There's a little adhesive on the adapter. What you want to do, you don't want to pull this cable. Just grab the ad adapter here and slide this adapter backward like that. Be careful with the flex cable. And there you have it. Now the hard drive is attached to this caddy. We need the caddy, the bracket that holds the hard drive in place. So let's say in this case, I'll be using a Kingston, a cheap brand, but again, you can go a bigger one. We need to remove this one and put this one in there. The caddy is being held down by four screws. One, two, three, four. Two screws on each side. So remove these four screws. And once you remove that, you want to lift up the hard drive like this. And you can see the SATA connector and the power connector right in here. You want to put this one in the same position. You don't want to put it upside down or anything like that. You want to put it in the same orientation. And once you put it in there, all you want to do, you want to put the same screws back on this one. All right, once we have the screws on that one, what you want to do, you want to bring it close to the jack, and then you want to put this adapter inside the, oh my God, right in there, connected right in there. And then put these brackets under the battery, inside the screw holes match and put it right on top. And uh, put the four screws that you removed from here. Two in the front and two on the back. You can do this one too. You can put just the windows in here. It's still gonna be faster. But if you have a mechanical drive, just put an uh, M.2 NVMe in there, put the windows on that one. That will be faster than this one. And this way you can conserve your mechanical drive. In this case, the client brought me the SSD and they wanna put this one in. No idea why, but some people, they have a decision of their own. Anyway, so now that we have this one here, and we can install the windows in here with no problem. And to finish it off, you just grab the bottom cover, put it right on top, push the corners in, in the front, make sure you got nice click sounds, and put the short screws in the front end of the laptop and the long screws from the mid towards the back. Again, I hope you guys like this video and help you guys out to do your own upgrades for your storage for your Lenovo IdeaPad 3. If you have any question or request, feel free to leave them in the video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just going to finish up putting up the bottom screws.